I think the argument for why another 25 basis point increase on our gradual path makes sense is based on our two monetary policy goals, the dual mandate goals. Yes, there are other people who worry that if you keep interest rates at zero for a long time, you could be, you know, there might be financial imbalances building up. Right. My argument is really based on the outlook for the economy and really our dual mandate goals. But most economists would agree that, mm -hmm. right, with productivity as low as it is, we're going to have lower interest rates. And that path, if you look right, at but the that doesn't ADP, mean zero, Loretta. Oh, um, but it doesn't you, necessarily mean zero forever. Our CNBC Fed survey shows Wall Street doesn't think you guys are following a plan, that there's a framework out there. When we asked people, what do you think the Fed follows, the latest economic data or the medium-term framework, it seems like, according to this data that we've gathered, you got a communication problem. I will be talking about that later today in a speech I'm giving. And I was on your show when you released that in, in August. And that did trouble me, right, because we are following, right, principles in terms of how we do monetary policy. I certainly you know, focus on the media on outlook. I focus on right. where There's we are. Right. There's the data, folks. Is the Fed um, following a policy framework? Right. 60 but, percent But I no. will concede that these results trouble me in the sense of what you said about our communications. Some, some critics think you are doing harm, to Joe's question, capital going to places it otherwise wouldn't, maybe having the opposite effect. When interest rates are so low, people save much more rather than spending because they think, wow, I've got far less to live on retirement. They think there are negative consequences out there. I think that we have to balance, the right. right? We're, we're looking at a balance, right? We had interest rates low. I think we appropriately brought interest rates down to address the crisis. Now the economy is moving back toward, right, a, a growth rate that's picking up in the second half of the year. The solid labor market report today, coupled with all the other labor indicators, suggests that's back, and inflation is moving back up. That's an argument that we can move back up interest rates on this gradual path back towards a more normal rate. Hey, CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the eye right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.